Hello friends, I am Reyna, your friendly neighborhood witch of what the f and today we are doing a metallic earth tone sway. I'm starting off as always with my usual pillow paint, which is color placed into your satin in onyx from Walmart. You don't have to have them mix at all or anything, it's just there on the shelves. Pick it up, go. In fact, don't have them shake it, you'll get a ton of bubbles. You don't want that. So the first color I'm starting out with today is Deco Art Extreme Sheen in Obsidian. It's kind of a gunmetal, a sparkly gunmetal that looks really sexy on top of black. And if you've watched any of my videos, you know that I do love my blacks. Uh, black on black and rainbow colors on black and sparkles on black. And there's a reason people call me Gothic Rainbow Bright. Okay, our next color, Garnet, also by Extreme Sheen, Deco Art. Now, like I said, I was going for earth tones in this particular pour and this just has too much blue in it. So I toned it down with Liquitex, and this is acrylic ink in naphthol crimson, and it cut the blue enough that it made it kind of go with the rest of the piece. In future, I would probably use ruby or just something else, just nothing quite so blue. Deco Art Extreme Sheen in Antique Bronze, absolutely awesome color, looks amazing. Uh, what can I say? This is a brand new one to me, Jacquard Pearl X, and this is Antique Silver. This is pigment, and it's, you mix it up like a paint, and it goes on like a paint. It's just a little bit different of a process preparing it. Artist Loft, Copper, Tube Paint. I like it, a little too orange. Um, it looks more copper in the jar, the bottle and just yeah I'm gonna try something else next time. Deco Art Extreme Sheen in Champagne Gold, a departure from my usual 24 karat gold but it's good to change things up once in a while. Deco Art Extreme Sheen <laughs> in Sterling Silver and I used this last because it was gonna go directly under my black cell activator and I really wanted the cells to pop so putting a contrasting shade right underneath gives you the most contrast and pop cool exactly what I was going for and since I never know when to stop I topped it off a little bit more of my garnet and naphthol crimson amalgamation just to give it more I really, really don't ever know when to stop. As you can see, I covered the entire six inch by six inch tile with my pillow paint because you need it to get the paint to go off the edges. You know, it's, it's like weight, you're pulling it. So if you don't have enough paint around your edges, it's not going to flow over and you're just not gonna get as good of a result. So be it pretty liberal with your pillow paint, especially around the edges as you're encouraging it to pull out from the center and over. My swipe tool du jour are these waxy playing cards that I get over at the dollar store and I like them. They have the corners cut off, which at first I was like, that is wonky. What the heck is wrong with these? But it turns out that it gives me a third size of swipe, which is actually pretty rad. I can use the full side, I can use the top, and then I can use the little corner for my detail stuff. And that's pretty cool because usually my palette knives are completely caked in paint because I just forget to clean them and then, you know, it's, you know, being an artist, it's, it's that. So now that I have swiped it, I am adding a little bit more pillow paint around the edges where the swipe didn't actually get, again, to encourage pulling it off. Think of it as lubrication. I have ADD really badly and I can't stand long videos, so I edit my videos to reflect my own personal taste, which is speeding everything up a lot. Now, please note that you need to be patient with these. You need to let the selves develop, but you don't need to watch it on video. <laughs> you don't. I'm bored, you're bored, nobody wants to be bored. You wanna be excited, right? You wanna watch these videos because they're fun and they teach you something, not so you're like, oh my God, I'd rather watch linoleum curl. Yeah, we're not gonna do that. So I speed everything up to eight times, or 800%, 2000%, heck, I go up to 5,000 and 999,000% sped up in places. So you aren't bored and so more importantly, I'm not bored. 
Now we get to the stretching. These cells I let develop for a good long time, probably five to 10 minutes, and then I started tilting it. And that kind of accounts for just these massive, glorious cells that I got on this one. I didn't spend it at all. Tilting was just enough to pull them straight out of the middle. The hugeness of these cells, I attribute a lot to the deco art paints. Something about the metallic in the extreme sheen line just creates incredible cells. If you're wondering what I'm using for pouring medium, I use the Chalet Art style recipes. So it's an untinted base paint like for walls, interior walls, and then it's mixed with a couple of different gloss varnishes. I have my actual recipe written below, but if you haven't taken the Chalet Art course, I highly recommend it. You'll learn so much and especially you'll learn a ton from the Facebook group because we just we troubleshoot a lot. And there's a lot of trouble when you are learning the style of art. So be patient. Be patient when your cells are forming. Be patient as you're learning. Just be patient. Be nice to yourself. So says me. I'm hard on myself all the time. Here's the end result. All dried. I will resin this. And once it's resined, it will be a super stunner, I think. I've got some plans for it. I think that this is actually too pretty to be <laughs> used in the kitchen, you know, as a trivet or anything. So maybe I'll get to it in a future video. Maybe I won't. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Just bear with me. Okay, I'm learning. The reason you should subscribe to my channel when there's all these other paint pourers out here is because I'm not going to make you sit through like 20 minutes of nothing when I can speed it up to like three seconds. And that's good. And I'll also teach you stuff. And I'm funny. Sometimes. Maybe? <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this today. If you have any questions or comments, please put them below and I will answer them. Have a great day.